Today, we're going to talk with Veena Panditi, who is opening a new summer camp for kids, Notes and Beats. Hello, Ms. Veena Panditi. I'm excited to have you here today. Thanks, Antika. I heard you're starting a new summer program for children, and I'm eager to hear about it. Tell me all about it. Yeah, absolutely. So this program is called Notes and Beats, and it's all about the music and dance that you love to listen to um, from the Indian cinema. So if uh, you love the movies, you love listening to the songs and dancing to them, you're just going to fall in love with this program. Um, this uh, program is an attempt to bring the tradition over from our generation to yours <laughs> and continue that with our children so we can actually share and have fun. Um, now, in this program, we will have dis different aspects where kids will learn, could learn guitar, drums or keys or learn to sing or do Bollywood dance as well. Now, um, there's also going to be an arts and crafts segment to the program. So how is this school going to be different from other schools and how is it going to appeal to children? Uh, that's a great question, Ambika. Now, this school is really about the songs that we love. So fundamentally, that is what it is all about. So have you ever wondered why Rehman is so different from the rest or why Opie Nair's music is so special and what's special about him. So these are the kind of things that we will we'll bring to this program where we might watch a movie snippet or actually listen to the song and talk about what's so special, what makes these great composers so great. And we travel through time, the kids will travel through time where we start uh, with the 50s, 60s and come all the way to the Rehmans, kind of like a Burman to Rehman kind of an experience. And the best part of it all is going to be that it is performance-based, which is where all the kids, you know, after they learn their individual pieces, guitar, drums, and whatnot, they come together as a band and put together a live show. I mean, you see little kids doing a chaya chaya or, a, um, you know, like one of the songs from Swades or one of the favorites, right, like the popular tunes. I think it'll be pretty powerful. Children learn fast when they learn the things that they relate to the most. So if they are actually sitting down and singing like the songs that they hear with their friends or in the parties or with their parents, I think that will be most exciting to them. And then their ability to pick them up would be faster um, and much easier. So I think that's, uh, that's one of the reasons why I think this camp will be a hit. This is a great idea. Thank so you. how did you come about it? Well, so you go to these birthday parties or all those Indian parties and there's music playing. You just can't stop, you know, but see all the children and adults just so excited about the songs uh, from our Indian movies. Bollywood mu dance has, is an area that we've explored quite a bit. There's a lot of places where you can go and learn to do the dance. But we haven't really explored the music side of things as much. And I think it's a great opportunity to do that um, because it's really not that easy to be able to sing or play a song. Uh, it'll be very exciting uh, to bring that over to the children. And, you know, I also have a background in uh, classical music. I've taught that for a few years now. And when I uh, teach that to the children, they are pretty excited, but they're also excited when I teach them a, a song from the movies. And they're like, oh, we naughty, can we do one more of this? So, you know, just based on out of that experience, I've taught them a few songs and we performed on the stage and they went off really well. So that became our inspiration to kick off this program, Notes and Beats which is going to be primarily about the songs from the Indian mu movies. So other than what you've told me, what else is going to benefit the children? I think, yeah, other than the music and the dance and the arts and crafts and the ice cream socials we'll have and the pizza days we will have, all of that fun. I think the band part is what makes it so unique. And, you know, being part of a band is all about teamwork, right? I mean, you got to understand how the other member on the team is doing and be able to adapt to that. So discipline, teamwork, and camaraderie are the things that you know you will develop for each other and be able to respect each other. And I think hugely the kids will gain um, uh, self-esteem, improve their self-esteem, and build that confidence that will be part uh, of their assets for the rest of their lives. This is all very exciting. How are you going to kick off this summer camp? Oh, uh, so the exciting part starts right in May, uh, even before summer kicks in. We are, are planning a grand opening event where I'd like 
all the local artists, um, singers and dancers to come and uh, participate in a friendly competition. And you know, there will be certainly a good set of giveaways for free, like a free week of summer camp or two weeks of summer camp and so forth. We will also have local artists come and play for us. But, uh, but I think um, the, the grand opening will have these elements and uh, it will be scheduled towards the end of May. I don't have the exact date or the place yet, but it will be published on our website very soon. So you've told me your vision about the summer camp. What's your vision for after the summer camp? You know, when children come to the summer camp experience what it is all about, there might be a few kids and I am sure and I hope there will be a few kids who really hit it off well with maybe drums or guitar or just singing or the dance part of it. And they'll want to improve on that and that they will come back to us for individual or private lessons going forward because we will have uh, that offering for the rest of the year. We will also have an after school program where kids can visit us more than uh, twice or thrice a week and you know build upon the songs they learn and you know as they progress they'll be more and more complicated more challenging songs that we will introduce um, I think uh, it'll be a great program overall yeah I think a lot of kids will be interested I, I so, hope so I, we, we are seeing some registrations coming in already oh so how uh, can people sign up and where is it going to be located the location is actually uh, right in the heart of Herndon uh, it's right off 267 and Fairfax County Parkway. Uh, it's very convenient for commuters going from Ashburn or um, South Riding or Chantilly and so forth, or Sterling for that matter. And of course, close to Herndon and uh, the Reston area. And you can register, it's very easy to register. You can go to our website, notesnbeats.com, and there's online registration available. Or you can simply call us and talk to us. Well, thank you, Ms. Veena Pandri. Thanks uh, for having me on the show, Ambika. Wish you luck on your new venture. Thanks so much.